Welcome to My Golden Games, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Ansel technology for the NVIDIA graphics cards in Mass Effect Andromeda. So basically, all you do is go inside Mass Effect Andromeda, and this works in some games. I'm not 100% sure which ones, but for this case, it's going to be Mass Effect Andromeda. You press Alt and F2. Whoop, uh, that didn't work. Alt and F2. I pressed the wrong key. There we go. So basically, it takes you to this menu. My bad guys, uh, so I was just recording for about maybe three minutes or so. Realized that the background for the Ansel, the whole menu, wasn't actually recording because I guess it's not technically part of the game. It's part of the graphics card, like, menus and stuff, I guess. So anyways, I had to stop the recording and basically we're going to redo it. So anyways, uh, so once you get into the menu, you can actually move around and you'll set up the shot. You can actually go pretty far out. I'm not 100% sure how far you can go, but like this doesn't let us go through these bars. Damn it, that, that sucks. All right, so anyways, let's get back over here and set up the shot. But I think it's really cool how you can just go around in the 3D space, you know, really explore the map. So if you, it does not work in multiplayer, by the way. Believe me, I tried it, it doesn't. But let's get over here, line up the shot. Now uh, let's go like this. I think right like that is pretty good for this. And then you can go to camera and capture. You can change the field of view so you can zoom in. Zooms in really far, which is really cool. And then later on, you can scale up the resolution of the photo to like, you know, 4K, 8K, 48,000K. Yeah, 48,000K, 48,000 pixels. You can scale it up to that. I don't know how it does it, but alien technology is all I can think of. So anyways, uh, so that's field of view. You can change the roll of the camera angle. So I'll probably do like this. There we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe zoom out a little bit. That looks pretty good, I think. Uh, my head is in the picture, but you know what? That's all right. We have the raw HDR right here, which basically, you know, high dynamic range gives you better contrast of colors and whatnot. We'll have that on. The grid of thirds, basically, so you can line up your shot, make sure everything's lined up properly, you know. So basically, it just helps you line up the shot. We're not going to have that on. I'm not sure if that actually renders when you go to render the shot. I'm going to say it doesn't. Um, but anyway, so that's that. And then for capture type, the screenshot, which is a normal screenshot, which is actually probably what I'll do for most of my thumbnails from now on, at least for Mass Effect. I don't know if it works in Grand Theft Auto. That would be pretty cool if it did. But, you know, I got the Rockstar Editor, which I use anyways, so we'll mess around. I'll, I'll, I'll see. But let's go over here. Super resolution. So see 15,000 by 8640. Now, I think my Canon is about this, and that's 1.5 gigabytes. Now, you can go up to 19,000, 23,000, 40,000, 61,440 by 34,560 pixels. That's freaking huge picture that's 28.2 gigabytes it says right there that's times 16 of the normal resolution that's insane uh so for this one i'll go i think 15,000 or so like i said i think that's about what my camera shoots at it might actually be like 8,000 it might actually be only be about 8,000 we'll go with 15,000 so anyways we'll keep that uh enhance basically we're not going to do that because it basically, I think, flattens the image so you can have better range for color correction and whatnot. But it's in beta anyways, but so we're not even going to mess with that. Uh, let's see. Let's close that. And then we can go to game settings, depth of field, which you can change the focus. So we can make everything out of focus, make everything in focus, change the maximum blurriness. Uh, let's go here. Right, so right about there, that seems to be pretty good for the background. Uh, we can bump it up a little more like that. I think that's pretty good. It's decent looking. Uh, it's a little hard to see because my face is there, but in the final render, we'll be able to see that. My bad, guys, my bad. So anyways, that's good there. We'll close that out. Effects, you can change uh, sketch, basically. You know, it makes it kind of like Borderlands, I guess. Not really, but you, know, you can do this in Photoshop too. Uh, not really sure what you would use that for. Color enhancer, again, you could add that in Photoshop if you have Photoshop vignette adds you know the little border around the screen kind of pretty cool again you can add that in photoshop uh so basically if you don't have photoshop you can use it right here but i'm not gonna mess with those adjustments you can change the brightness we could add brightness there add some more contrast boom look at that 
I'm not going to add that though because I can always uh, edit that in Photoshop as well. Vibrancy, again, you can change that in Photoshop. I'm not going to mess with any of that. Filters, uh, there's filter types, so black and white, pretty cool. Intensity, you can change the intensity. So just make it like super desaturated. It's kind of cool. But again, you can do that in Photoshop. Halftone, I think this one's pretty cool. Kind of like newspaper, comic book. Pretty badass, I think. Can make it less intense. Maybe kind of like film grain or something look. But that's pretty cool. Uh, retro, it's a pretty cool looking look. Pretty cool looking look, really. Okay. Uh, sapia, I like that as well. But we'll just go with none, and I think that's good. So now we'll go to the camera, the super resolution, 15,360 by 8640. That is 1.5 gigabytes it'll be. So let's take a snap. So now it's going to basically do this process. Uh, it's Okay, right where my face is, there's a little bar that says uh, progress 10 out of 49. So it's like just rendering each frame of the scene, I guess. And you can see what's going on, but you just can't see the progress. So we'll uh, let this render, and then we'll see what it looks like after. All right, so now it says it's under Shadow Play Videos. So I guess I put it in the Mass Effect Andromeda folder for the Shadow Play. So we'll hit Done. And there we go. So we'll do that. All right, so we're in the new volume. That's where my hard drive is. And Shadow Play Videos, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, these are two I was messing around with earlier. This is the newest one. Just double-click that, and it should open up in Photoshop. I guess you're kind of SOL if you don't have Photoshop. Uh, maybe don't use the super resolution. I think if you just do the normal screenshot, it should just take a normal, like, JPEG or PNG. But uh, this is some kind of special format. I've never seen it before. I mean, it, it could be very old format. I've never... Just, I've just personally never seen it before. All right, so once it opens up in Photoshop, it says open EXR read options. Just as transparency is fine, just hit OK. Don't need to do anything. Just hit that OK button. Then it'll read the format. And bam, there we go. So here's the screenshot. We're at 16.67%. Let's go at let's let's go at 50% and see what happens. Look at the detail. This thing is freaking crazy. Uh, let, let's zoom in a little more, maybe 100%. Again, this is 15,000 pixels, so it's really detailed. Uh, let's scroll down here. You can see, like, the fibers and stuff on the schmack. Uh, let's go down here. You can see the scarring and stuff on the armor. Then, like, the fibers in the armor itself down here on the arms. Just really high-detailed screenshots. This could be a new thing I do, I don't know, maybe on Facebook or Twitter, uh, Instagram, maybe. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. Uh, the leather look, like, that is crazy. Let's, let's zoom in. Um, hold on, let's see. Okay, so let's scroll out of here. I want to show you something else. Let me move this over here. There we go. So as you can see, the background has a little blurriness to it. You couldn't really see that when I was doing it before. But I think that looks like a really badass thumbnail. Then we just go out to 15%. Uh, see the full thumbnail. And then you can just, you know, edit it how you want. Usually you want to just do 1080p because YouTube doesn't really allow bigger than 1080p. I think it's 2 megabyte size for your thumbnails. And anything bigger than 1080p most of the time is going to be way more than 2 megabytes. So anyways, that's that. I do want to show you something really quick. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is one photo I was working on earlier today. Now, you might be saying, eh, that's pretty cool, but what, what's so special about it? Well, let me show you this. Uh, let's zoom in at 50%. And, well, for one, this is what I like about this armor. It's got this holographic, like, little display on his wrist. But if we go over here, and I think it was, yeah, on his legs down here, let's zoom in at 100%. You can actually see the dirt and like sand and just grime on the armor. Do you see that there? It might be a little hard to see uh, because you're seeing it through Photoshop. Let me zoom in at 150%. Uh, okay, maybe it still may not be the best, but either way, I think you guys can see what I'm talking about. You can see the grime on there. 
the dirt. This is such a detailed game. Look at that, like on the knee pads there. This game is freaking beautiful, like amazing. And again, you can see the fibers and everything on the leg and stuff there. But So I think that's basically going to do it for this episode. If you guys want me to do some more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. Have a great day, guys, and see you next time. Be sure to hit that like button, too. That, that really helps as well.